People are gathering this evening in West Hollywood for a vigil to honor the 22-year-old woman who died after she was arrested by Iran's morality police. Her death triggered protests and galvanized women all over the world. NBC Four's Ted Chen is live for us in West Hollywood right now, where the vigil is underway. Ted. Chuck, you're right. The vigil is happening right now. Some 300 or so people here at West Hollywood Park. More evidence, as you said, that what happened in Iran is reverberating around the world in Southern California, and especially among women who feel like it's time for solidarity and time for change. I was two when the revolution happened, um, and I saw women's rights just stripped away. As a little girl in Iran, West Hollywood City Council member Seppi Shine says she remembers adults talking about the torture and mistreatment of women. And when she heard about the death of 22 year old Masa Amini while in the custody of Iran's morality police, Shine says she knew little had changed. I'm the first out LGBTQ Iranian elected anywhere in the world. In Iran, I would have been killed. Amini's death has ignited a firestorm of protests, not just in Iran, but around the world. There have been multiple demonstrations in Los Angeles and a candlelight vigil at UCLA. And tonight, a vigil in West Hollywood organized by the Iranian American Women Foundation. It's not about just hijab, a scarf, any of those things. It's about their uh, freedom, it's about human rights. Amini was arrested. Arrested for allegedly not wearing her hijab or head covering properly. It's something Roxy Sarhingi has never experienced as the daughter of Iranian immigrants born and raised in the U.S. It's so hard to really even imagine because of the, the freedom that we have here. And, and when I do imagine it, it is so heartbreaking and so devastating. That's why activists say this movement is not about religion, it's about the oppression of women that has to stop. We all want to be free. We all want to be loved. We all want to feel safe. And these activists point out what happened to Amini has been happening in Iran for the past four decades, and they're glad the world is finally paying attention. Reporting live from West Hollywood, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Carolyn, Chuck, back to you. All right, Ted, thank you.